Hey guys, Brett Williams here from LifeWithTheOptions.net and on today's video I want to talk about why I became a coach. So a friend of mine asked me yesterday actually, what spurred you on to become a coach? When did that all play out? When did that all happen? So I thought perfect opportunity to jump on, do a video for you guys so that you too can share in the understanding as to why I decided to become a coach. If you've been following along my journey in some of my other videos, you'll know that about six years ago, I had a destructive relationship that set me on this path. That's the point when I decided that I was gonna become whole and complete within myself. I was gonna master myself, master that inner game and really start to develop that strength within my own emotions. So coupled around there, one of the first things that I I did was I dived into NLP. I dived into it from a client perspective first and foremost, doing about 12 one-on-one -on -one sessions with an amazing practitioner back in Perth. And then I thought, you know what? I'm really starting to feel a shift in this. So I decided to start learning more about it. I started to do some of the weekend programs that he was running and then eventually doing my practitioner certification at the same time. So around that moment, I started to realize the power of all of this work. Obviously, I was starting to see how it was really impacting myself. It was starting to dissipate a lot of the past stuff that I was dealing with. And I started to think, okay, wow, this is really powerful and I also enjoy holding space for other people to be able to do this because obviously as you're learning it at the same time you're also facilitating it when you're doing it in a practical sense so whilst at that point I didn't decide to jive straight into practicing with my NLP side of things I did know that it was something that really was a passion of mine then moving forward I did a bit of spiritual work and diving into that space when my grandma passed away about four years ago because I wanted to really understand and explore all of that element as well and again the same situation showed up after I was learning a lot of that and and then being able to facilitate with some people through the education of it, I realized in that moment as well that I'm good at this. Like I am good at being able to listen to people and being able to understand what's going on for themselves and be able to guide them in a way that is elegant and yet allows them to still find the breakthroughs for themselves. So it was around that time that the whole idea of becoming a coach was, it wasn't really something that was around at the time, but it was something that I was kind of thinking of because I was like, you know what, I enjoy this. Like I get a real sense of fulfillment out of it. And then diving into more personal development work with the landmark side of things, doing a number of their programs and then on the other side of that assisting and again being there having that I guess a coaching role for the people who were going through and participating and being able to guide them through what it was that they were working through again it was just more evidence to me that this was a space that I really needed to step into and going back a couple of years that was when I started to really dive into this path uh, the whole intent really was actually to get into public speaking and speak around emotional empowerment for males like that was my whole mission originally and that's what brought me over to Sydney getting involved with the professional speaking education company but see, at the same time, like that dream kind of got broken a little bit. So I kind of put that on the shelf. So over the last couple of years, I've been really deep diving into it myself, understanding how I want to show up as a coach and even also just getting a handle on the, the word coach. Sometimes it can be feeling a little bit like, you know, why me? Like, what do I have to offer? Like, why do I get to be the coach? And what I started to realize was that looking back through my own personal journey, understanding what I've been through, understanding all of those times in which I was able to support other people through what they were going through, it was almost like a no brainer for me to actually step into this space. Now, obviously at the end of last year, 2017, I decided to really step up and step into the space of being a coach and a mindset coach and all around self-connection and self-awareness because I really harnessed for myself what it was that I'm able to do. So this has been the whole motive to dive into becoming a coach. And as I said, the journey itself probably started about, probably about six years ago when I really started to, I guess, dabble in this for my own self and I start to understand the benefits and the power that it has. And then also my own natural ability to be able to be in that space for others. Others. And again, as I said in one of my other videos, I've walked through my own darkness so I can guide you through yours. And I guess in that as well, like in my own personal journey, being able to know that I had the strength for my own self to be able to support myself through a lot of it. Obviously, I was doing a lot of programs and had other things going on as well, but the real core guts of it, being strong enough for me to be able to walk through it, as said, allows me to be able to guide other people through it. So that's why I've become a coach. That's when it all played out. And that's why I'm now offering that free one-on-one -on -one coaching session for anybody who's interested in doing a session with me. I'll put the link here. Go and check it out. Go and book in your free session. I'm already getting people from all across the globe, whether it's from the US, Italy, South Africa, Australia. I'm getting them all over the place. So no matter where you are, there'll be a time in my calendar that will suit your time zone. So don't panic. Go ahead, go and book in a time now. And as always, guys, if you got any value out of this video, like it, share it, comment it, show it some love. And if you're watching this on my YouTube, then make sure to subscribe. And I'll look forward to speaking to you soon. Cheers.